Well, let's start with the lines. This vertical line here counts the number of people infected with corona. This line at the bottom counts the time, just like a calendar for days, weeks, or months. For example, if we have 10 days at the bottom and know that one person was infected on day four, we will have a curve like this. And if we know that three people were infected on day six, nine people on day eight, and 18 people on day 10, we will have a curve like this. Got it? Now, when scientists have used real numbers, they saw that more and more people were being infected super fast. They also understood that if nothing changed and we continued on with our normal lives, this curve would reach the final point where nobody else would be infected. That is called the peak. After the peak, when everybody is already infected, the contamination curve starts going down, leaving every single person sick with corona. Now pay attention. This dotted line here is probably the most important part of this story because it shows the limit of how many sick people fit in a hospital. Under this line, people can be treated normally when arriving to a hospital. But above this line, there won't be room in hospitals anymore. And that's the real problem. But scientists are very clever and they found a solution. When they tried to flatten the curve to fit everyone inside the hospital line, this new curve appeared. This new curve means that everyone can be treated in a hospital if, instead of all people getting sick at the same time, we could get sick at different times, maybe next couple of weeks, months, or years. The important thing is, the more we slow down the spread of corona, the more room in hospitals we will have, and the more time scientists will have to come up with vaccines and test them. That's why we must make some sudden changes in our current lives. And that's why, instead of going to work, choose to work from home. Instead of meeting people, choose to practice social distance for a while. And instead of avoiding the facts, give a chance to science and choose to flatten the curve. Thank you.